The Daylight Smart Motor is an innovative, low-voltage control interface for electrically operated screens. It is an optional control that can be ordered built into several electric screen models. When installing a Daylight electric screen with a Smart Motor, first use the supplied 25-foot RJ22 cable to connect the wall switch to the splitter located inside the junction box on the left-hand side of the screen housing. Plug the cord into one of the three RJ22 inputs on the splitter labeled I. Plug the opposite end of the cord into the RJ22 input on the back of the wall switch. If the screen unit has power, the green LED on the back of the wall switch will flash twice, showing connectivity. To connect the wall switch without using the RJ22 inputs, use at least a 3-conductor, 20-24 to 24 gauge wire, and connect the three terminals on the back of the wall switch labeled bus, common, and 5 volt to the corresponding terminals on the splitter board. If the provided RJ22 cable is not long enough, use at least a 3-conductor wire to extend the switch wire to the required length. See the wiring diagram included in the instructions to match the terminals with the appropriate pinouts on the RJ22 jack. A control panel may be connected to the splitter by using the red, black, and white dry contacts located on the splitter board. Use three conductor, 20 to 24 gauge wire to connect the control panel to the splitter. A momentary closure across the white and red contacts will be an up command. A momentary closure across the white and black contacts will be a down command. A momentary closure across the white, red, and black contacts will be a stop command. Locate the wall switch and remove the cover plate from the three-button wall switch and remove the switch from the junction box. You will see two tactile buttons on the back of the switch. To adjust the down limit switch, Press and hold the down tactile button until the LED on the back of the switch turns solid red. This will put the motor on limit set mode. Turn the wall switch over and use the down button on the front of the switch. Press and hold until the desired travel position is reached. If you travel too far down, you can press the up button to move the screen upward. If you press and let go of either the up or down button, the motor will do a small jog in that direction for finer adjustment of the screen. Once the desired position is reached, turn the switch over. Press and hold the down tactile button until the LED on the back of the switch blinks red twice. The down limit is now set. To adjust the up limit switch, press and hold the up tactile button until the LED on the back of the switch turns solid green. This will put the motor in limit set mode. Turn the wall switch over and use the up button on the front of the switch. Press and hold until the desired travel position is reached. If you travel too far up, you can press the down button to move the screen downward. If you press and let go of either the up or the down button, the motor will do a small jog in that direction for finer adjustment of the screen. Once the desired position is reached, turn the switch over. Press and hold the up tactile button until the LED on the back of the switch blinks green twice. The up limit is now set. If the motor is placed in set mode and no buttons are pressed for 20 seconds, the LED will turn off and the motor will return to normal operating mode. To test the limit switch setting, press and release the up or down button on the wall switch to operate the screen. To restore the factory preset limits, Press and hold the stop button and press the up limit tactile button. The LED will blink green once. The wall switch is required to make any limit switch adjustments, even if a third-party control system is used. Therefore, it is advised to wire the switch or provide a three-conductor connection that is accessible. If you've also purchased an infrared remote control, radio frequency remote control, or video projector interface, simply plug the receiver into any empty eye port on the splitter. If your screen does not operate, the first stop is to check and see if your limits need to be set. Locate the two black tactile buttons on the back of the switch. Press and hold the down tactile button until the LED on the switch turns solid red. Turn the switch over. Press and hold the down button. If the screen moves downward, it means that your screen is operational and the lower and upper limits need to be reset. Proceed to the setting limits portion of this guide to set both the lower and upper limit switch settings. 
If the screen still does not operate, proceed to the wiring guidelines. The second stop is to check your wiring. Make sure that the data cable coming from the head of the motor is seated securely in the RJ45 port on your splitter. The green LED light on the jack will light up solid. Make sure that the provided wall switch cord is seated securely in one of the RJ22i ports of the splitter and in the RJ22 port on the back of the wall switch. The green LED on the back of the switch will flash twice if you have proper connection from the splitter to the wall switch. The switch is required to make any limit adjustments to the motor.